Hey there YouTube, um, on this clip we're going to be going over an easy way to submit uh, your Bloodless sitemap to Google. Uh, I'm going to start out by going over the things you do not need um, as you've been led to believe by other other uh, video bloggers. Um, what are the things you do, some things you do not need? Well, you do not need a third party XML site generator or any uh, syntax on, as to how to generate um, an XML sitemap. You do not need a meta tag, um, and you also do not need any fancy web programming skills as to how to um, access the heading of your web page and enter a meta tag. You don't. You don't need that. All that has been built in from the latest uh, rollout of Webmaster Tools. So um, all you need. So yeah, all these uh, things are useless. What are the things you need? Uh, all you need is a blogger login credential. Obviously, you need to have a blogger site uh, with Google in order to have the credentials. Uh, you also need the URL, google.com slash webmaster tools. And the extension, feeds slash posts slash default. So you can just write this down or copy, type this down in your, in your computer because uh, that's the only technical part of this whole procedure. All right. So I'm going to provide you with the steps first, and then I'm going to do a demonstration for you as to how to uh, submit your sitemap of your blog, your blog spot, or your blog site to uh, Google. All right. Um, so here goes the steps. So first thing you need to do, you can type in the URL google.com slash webmaster tools, or you can just go to Google and Google webmaster tools and click on the first link that shows up. And then you uh, sign in, sign into Webmaster Tools with your blogger login credential. That will automatically pull up all the um, blog, blog, all the blog sites you have associated with that uh, login credential. Okay. And then out of all the list of sites you have, you click on uh, the one you would like to submit uh, the sitemap for. When you click on that, uh, you click on sitemaps. It's going to be on the right corner, as you see me during the demonstration. It looks something like this. You just click on that, and also note it's going to indicate no site maps. Okay, you don't want to bother making site maps for uh, a site that already has a site map. So it's going to say no site maps. That's an indication that that you need to create a site map for that uh, particular site. And then after creating, uh, clicking on that, you're going to see a new page that is going to ask add. You know, there's going to be a button that says add or test uh, site map. So you're going to click on that and uh, the pop-up menu will come up. It will have your your blog URL with a slash and then in that slash you'll be in an open field where and there you just type in feed slash post slash default. Okay and then when you type that in uh, you're going to have two options either to uh, test the site map or to submit. I advise you to test it first to make sure it's valid or it's good. And if you test it and it's successful, it's going to tell you no errors. You just basically go back um, to step four. You go to the blogger site, click on the site on the, on the blogger site that you want to add a sitemap for. Um, click on add test sitemap. Type in the URL. And in, in this case, when you're doing it a second time, instead of um, testing, you're actually going to submit your your um, your sitemap. And I'll show you the procedure to check if um, the sitemap has been accepted. Okay? All right, so let me go ahead and do a demonstration for you right now. Okay, so here we are at Google. So I'm just going to type in uh, Webmaster Tools, Webmaster Tools, enter. So you see this first um, link that comes up? I can click on Webmaster Tools here. As the first link, so it takes you here. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to sign into Webmaster Tools with your blogger um, login credentials, the email and the password associated with your Google blog blog site. Okay. Okay. So I just logged into my uh, my Webmaster Tools account using my login credentials for uh, blogger. Now what I'm going to do. I want to create a sitemap for this particular uh, site. I can have multiple uh, sites I created within Blogger, but I want to create. I want to um, create a sitemap for actually submit a sitemap for um, 
this first link right here. Note, if you have a blogspot, there's automatically a sitemap that has been generated for you. It just resides in a spe specific directory within your, your blogspot URL, okay? So all you do is identify the site you want to create the sitemap for, click on it, and you see, you see all these uh, menu items will come up. All right, so I'm going to scroll to the right. You see here it says sitemaps. I mean, well, this one already has a sitemap, so let me go back. I want to submit a sitemap for one that doesn't have actually have a sitemap. So let me click on this link right here, this other uh, page I have. Click on that. And go to the right. You see it says no sitemaps. That's what you want to see. And it gives you, it tells you that you already have a sitemap there. You don't want to waste your time, okay? So I'm going to click on that. Click on that link. Uh, it says no sitemaps found for this site. So what are you going to do? You are going to click on click on this field add slash test sitemap. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to copy the um, URL that I'm going to post. Okay. So uh, click on add slash test sitemap, and then you see this URL comes up. This uh, pop up menu. It shows your um, your URL for your blog spot. So here you just append its slash post slash default. Now this is where the automatically generated um, sitemap for your blog spot account resides. So you, all you just need to do is just type in this extension. You don't need to create anything because it has already been done for you. Okay. So what we're going to do is click on uh, I can click submit or test, but it's smart for us to test it first just to make sure everything is working well. And then I'll repeat this procedure again and I will click on submit. Okay, so let's test the sitemap. This when it comes up, it says test complete, view results. Sure. Click on view results. And here you look at it, it says no errors found. That's the message you want to see. Okay, no errors found. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, create. Uh, I'm actually going to now submit my, my site map, okay? So let me go back to Webmaster Tools. I'm going to, this is the site I want to submit a, a site map for. Click on it. And scroll to the right side. Here it says site maps. If you want to know why it's good to submit a site map, you can click here. It's a pretty cool tutorial, uh, informa informational clip. Anyway, uh, so click on site maps. And it brings you here again. Add and test sitemaps. So I'm going to paste uh, feed slash post slash default. And in this time, since I know that this is a functional a blog spot, I am I feel confident submitting my sitemap. Okay, so it says sitemap submitted. Uh, so now let's go back to Webmaster Tools. And then I will click on the blog spot I just submitted the sitemap for. All right. And go to the right. It says sitemaps one submitted by me. I click on it. And there you have it. Okay. It says its sitemap has already been submitted. And index is pending, so it takes some time for Google to actually index index all the content within your, your blog spot. So it takes some time. So just give Google some time and eventually uh, everything will be submitted. Okay, and then all you just do is submit it once. And that's it. Whenever you upload it, um, Google periodically goes there and you know updates the index that it has done. So basically, that's uh, how you submit your your blogspot to the the sitemap of your blogspot to Google for improved um, search results. Okay. So thanks so much for viewing this uh, video, and have a wonderful day.